Good morning brothers and sisters of archery. Today it's a little sunny and today we got something interesting from a company in China, Tachyon Archery. They make a lot of archery equipment and they make recurve bows and they asked me if I want to test the limbs and I said listen I don't have a riser so they said now a whole bow. And it's kind of like a starter bow, it's a takedown recurve with a wood riser. I only want to show you what is everything in because there are a few things I really like with this company and we get to this in a second but first we see what we get here. Nicely picked. I had customs to pay obviously a little bit but was decent. So nothing to worry about. This company is since 20 years in the market or at least they have 20 years of experience of history they say. Here on the side, you see already, oh, but I didn't write it, that it's, ah, it's a Scorpio, now I know the name, it's a Scorpio, 62 inches, you can have it right and left hand, obviously, so this is nice, saves time, but the poundage is not written, I ordered 35, if you see what you get, and then, so this is the shipping box, then we come to the next box, Oi. So, packed well, almost too well. <laughs> so this is tied up to there, so, and this is tied up here. So now, nice, so this was a shipping box, and now, oh, look at this. And now we see, ah, now we see it's 35 pounds, yeah. Oh, this is a bit too much tape, guys. <sighs> I'm not Houdini. So, now, see, that's what you get. Tachyon Archery, and here everything is written what you need to know. It's a 35 pound, very well done. And now this is taped again like crazy. No, this is not taped at all, I like. So, then I can put my knee away. Then what you get here are these latches, you open them, obviously. Because last time somebody complained I didn't do unboxing, so... Now I should open now, let's see what we get here. There's already one surprise, which I like. And the surprise is... Oh, so, this one here. See? You see everything, description, how to mount the string loops, how to adjust the brace height, how to string with the uh, stringer which is included, I guess, we see. This is really, it should, I, in, 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 the, in the video or in the, on the website it looks like this, that it was glued there, so it would be nice to maybe stick it there. Then you have it always with you, but most probably you will carry the bow anyway with this box, because it's a really nice box. So you get things I don't need, it's a bracer. But it's fine to have, it's good to have. Then what you get is a nice riser and you see in the, it's not written here now, but the sizes they have on the website, you see direct it's a 19 and a half inch riser and it's a bamboo and I call it an action wood again, but they have this other term for it. And you see this riser has already all uh, preparations for whatever you want to put your bow uh, fishing reel on it or a stabilizer and sights and everything and even a proper um, you know arrow rest something and they have even a nice metal inlay here Tachyon Archery doesn't look bad the handle feels good nothing to complain and it's not an ILF it's a normal takedown which I like because I not too much into ILF system. So on this limb, there's then a number written, looking good there, again laminated with wood and I don't know what is in there. And the other limb, and it's always easy to see, but they even made a photo where you can see here the difference, but I didn't see. And then you see this one which is something written on, is always the lower limb, obviously. 
35 pound tachyon archery. Nice. So let's mount this one. Let's see how it works. For a beginner, I think it's just a nice thing. And they describe how to define right and left hand, you know, that you really can start, you get the set and you really can start if you're on your own, you don't go to an archery club or something. You really have everything you need to know. I like it. So, but I don't say now that I like it anymore. So the screws are only too long for my fast forward. So nice. Now the other one. Okay. Yeah, we have to do things. But I like that you get all this information with it. You know what I mean? So it's not you get a bow or string and then go and f good luck. You get really everything prepared. And it's even for themselves, you know, the, the chance of breaking or twisting a bow is less, lesser when you know what you have to do as a beginner. I like that. So now we have the bow assembled. 62 inches from nook to nook is just a nice length. Has a max draw of 30 inches. Oh, let's go to the. It's, uh, it's 62 inches, knock to knock. Brace height 7 to 7.5 inches. This one is 35 pounds. You can have it from 25 to 60 in 5 pounds increments. Oh, max draw of 30. Minimum arrow weight is not mentioned, but with these bows, you, you can go most probably to 6, 7, 8, something like this. You can have it in right and left hand. And the nice thing of this, what you all get with this is $129.99. Plus shipping. But for a starter, you know, $130 for a bow like this, it's not too bad. If the bow performs not properly, which I suppose it will do. And I said, I like this one. It's so simple, you know, you do it once and you print it, it's printed on really like, you know, doesn't cost a lot, but it helps the customer a lot. So bow builders, bow companies, please take note. And this is the accessory box, very nice too. I like and everything is here in, in a foam layer so nothing rattles, nothing falls around. You get some patches for your arrow pass. You get a knocking point, which we don't bother now. And you get, you get, what do you get else? <laughs> you get a string, obviously. And on the string there are already these finger grips so you don't have to worry about the glove. You get string silencers if you want to mount them, and you get a string, you know, where you put on the both sides. But, you know, these are things that we put directly back in the box, because we will not use them. We only use the string today. Now we string this beauty my way. Of course, you do it, please, with the stringer. Obviously. That's nice. So you have everything, box, back there. See, I would take this here. Then you have everything here nice in the book. See that? Just, just fine, really. Nice, well made. This one we don't need either, so we can put the box away. And the box is nice material. It looks good. It's gray, like, like marble or something. Looks nice. So it's really well done. Tachyon archery. Nice. So we don't need you anymore. But we need you. You, you, I need you. Joop. So, look at this. And then it makes your life already easy. Of course, they show you in the photos that the smaller loop is the bottom loop and the bigger loop is the top loop. But you see already your three fingers set up here. So you know already which one is the top one and which one is the bottom one. So guys, you don't string the bow like this. You use a stringer, please. But I do it like this. Oh, oh, 35 pounds. Are you sure? I think we have to measure the poundage. So, but I didn't have serious, you know, I only do once a day. So, see, bow straight, no problem. Looking good. Now we need to check the brace side, and of course, I don't have it here now. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, 30, easy. Gets a little stiff at the end, but here 28, 29, 30. Draws nice, there's not much. Yeah, good, an inch slack. And then it starts slowly, and it gets stiffer, stiffer, stiffer. So 
throw curve goes nice up, looking good. What else? Ah, we should? Okay. Now let's see, I said I, you could of course put now your, your felt thingy there, but I guess it's fine. Brace side, the knocking point looks fine too. Maybe a little too tight for my knocks, but you simply push these things a little further apart and it's fine for you in bigger knocks. We start with some beautiful wood knocks. They look like bamboo, I don't know the weight of them. So let's see, they are 28 inches. Yeah, a bit heavy. And you have a little boom, but not much. So fine for a ball like this. Oops, ah, what did I do with this? Showed it in the mud last time. Yeah, center shot, works. So even with these arrows, oh, that was too high. Now we shoot my 29 inch, they are 29 inch from the starter set, they are 1000 spine, relatively lightweight, see what the bow is doing. Oh yeah, then you get a nice speed, then you have a little boom, but that might go away. Brace set is right now seven and a half inches, so that might even stretch a little, we see. Nice, just fine. Something for the beginner or even recreational archery if you want to start something on a low budget. And they are 400 spine and 29 inches. Even a coach knock fits you, see? Oh yeah. So 1000 spine is maybe a little too, a little too soft. But you get some, whatever, 600 spine, depending. Oh, nice. Depending on your poundage you shoot, obviously. But there are spine charts all over the internet. You just check poundage of your bow, your draw length. Nice. So they went a little off. Need to practice. I didn't shoot these bows for a while. So, so far, does what it's supposed to do. Shoots nice, draws nice, has a little little much, but that's why you have the string silencers. You put them on and then all this is gone. So no problem, you have everything you need in the box. And if you're a total beginner, you can check on the website. They even offer complete sets where then there are arrows with it. So if you don't know which arrow to use or something. So, but I shoot simply what I have, random arrows. Not the best option, obviously. But you know, you can get used to almost everything. Feels like 35 pounds, yes, so, just nice. Oh, Robin Hooding already. A bit up and right, so let's see what the thousand spines are doing. Uh -huh. so, bad shot, collapsed. No, they go down, okay. Let's see if we start shooting a group down there. Let's see what the 400 spine will do. Of course, it's too stiff. They should go to the left now. No, they go to the center. So, never can have enough spine. Yep, they are nice. Oh, that was a too fast, too fast. You need to wait a little, of course. In. But hey, this bow is fun. For the price, $130. I know there are these mandarin duck and something you can get roughly for the same price, but this one is really even when you look at the handle, it's really pretty for bows like this. You know, you need to like them, but then if you like this kind of bows, this one is just a nice one. I can't say anything against it. Does what it's supposed to do. Let's check some speed. I don't know the weight of these wood arrows, but obviously wood arrows are always a little heavy. 28 inches, oops, 130, I think we can do more. 138, 135. They are 360 grain, so we are a little over 10 still. Hundred fifty-seven. 
See, and then you see the difference between wood arrows and carbon arrows. Especially in lightweight bows, 161. Hundred sixty one and now we come to I think two hundred fifty grain or something. Hundred sixty nine not much different. Hundred seventy three now we're talking. What? Are you fooling around again? I like to fool around again. Sometimes in the sun, this thing gets confused. Let's see one more shot. 177. So not bad for a recurve like this and enough for almost everything you want to do with it. You see. Go away, birdie. Oh, now you saw it. This wood arrow is wobbly and heavy. But uh, yeah, we can make it work. Maybe we need to do a Mediterranean Katra. <laughs> you sold it a little twerked. Just joking. The 400 spine. Yeah, it flex a little, you saw it. They're a little too stiff. So here you need to care about your spine. Oops, obviously. But look at this. Even with the stiff arrows, once you focus a little and stop talking, and now a thousand spine, a little too soft maybe. Oh, no, but they, they only go low for whatever reason. But you compensate for it once you have your arrows set up, then you know what this bow is doing. Now I looked at the other arrow again. So, still a little there. Let me check another brace. I must probably got a little shorter. It stretches a little, then you twist it a little, and then this thing is gone, and you put your silencers on it, and then it's totally gone. And you make here your, your felt on it, then you don't hear anything anymore. But there are no scratches, nothing. So, let's the arrows fly nicely. So, it's a well designed bow. You don't have to worry about. Very well done, Tachyon Archery. Sounds good, 62 inches. And I said, if you want to draw longer, 28 is nice, 29 is nice, 30, but then you feel it, so more than 30. But then even there, string angle 60 degrees, still there. So, no problem. Feels good. It's really fun to shoot and with these finger protectors here, you know, you don't have to worry about the glove. Do you have the fitting size now? You need an S, you need an M. It worries, so it's easier for them. You simply put these ones on, then you don't need a glove and that's just fine. I think that's a good idea. Should we put these on our starter set? Huh? <laughs> really nice. And you get the feeling of it. Bow feels good in the hand. Of course, you don't grab the pistol grip totally. You leave it, you know, but you know that. Oh, one of them just not working. Or maybe the, we need to check then the brace head again and the knocking point. And even changing knocking points, you know, you simply push it up or down and it's done. It's quite convenient. Yep, see, easy peasy. A few shots and you know what this bow is doing. And of course you can do your follow through. Wait, I show you how you are supposed to do your follow through. Look at my right hand. I touched it. Again, proper follow through. Don't make fun of anyone, no. And here you might want to consider your odd feather outwards, yes. Nice, so a few shots and you know what this bow is doing. Shoots nice with 35 pounds, good performance. For a beginner, too hard, I would say. So I would start with a 25 pound 
a maximum of 30 pounds. So don't overdo it when you start with your career with a recurve bow if you want to have like this. But here it's a good starting point. So and you can even get arrows from them and they have everything you need. So I leave the link to Tachyon Archery in the description and even the link to the Amazon uh, where this article is listed. And then you can check it out and see pressure changing pressure. You simply slide this up and down. I really like these ones. We only need one for the starter set, right? One would be enough. Need to think about that. And you could set up the starters, but then uh, so much work. So too much work. I said tricky lighting conditions, the sun is out and then we have shade again and whatever, but hey, I have to deal with it. You don't have to see me. You don't need to know what I'm saying. <laughs> you only need to know that. So this bow, impressive for a, if you start, or if you want to shoot, you know, like recreational, you don't want to spend too much money, $130. I would say good invested. I like that they offer this full setup with everything you need to get started. Not you sell a bow and then there's no knocking point. You don't even need it, you know, because you have this one here. You have the string silencers, you know, then you check on YouTube somewhere a video how to install them. It's, you know, it's easy. You fiddle them through the strands here and then you poof, they puff up and it's, you have everything you need to start. I like this. Everything in a nice small box you can carry with you, put in your car, put in your backpack. You have everything neatly packed with you. This package is good and the bow performs well and the price is good. So can't say anything. So now people will start again, criticize my ratings, but you know, I didn't pay for the bow, they sent it for free but they didn't tell me to say anything and they didn't pay me to do the review. They only sent me the bow. Packaging, I give you 10 points because it's a bow, a string, uh, string silencers, a knocking point, an arm guard, a stringer, a documentation. So it's way enough and this nice package you can really use for transporting a bow. Really nice handling. Of course you use a stringer, but this bow is, you know, first of all, you will figure which one is upside down and then you know directly this is the lower limb and the one where is nothing written on it is the upper limb. So this is one thing you need to pay attention. Then you screw them on easy peasy. So there's no, no magic to it. It's not rocket science. And then you use a stringer and string your bow. You check once maybe if it's straight and then this bow is easy to set up and easy to handle and the grip feels good. So I have nothing, yet nothing to complain. We give you 10 points in the handling. The build is nice. There is nothing what I could see now as, you know, you have all these nice layers here of the handle. Looks really nice. I mean, it's pretty. You have all, you know, and all the, the, the you know, the, the, the shape here is, it's, it's nice. Handle is nice too. So that's nice, the build. And overall, the limbs look good. You don't see any, you know, sometimes you get these limbs from cheap Chinese companies and then they have these edges and you see that the light is not falling smooth, that you have here some, some, some fall off or some, some dents and nicks. There's nothing. They're completely straight. They're really nice. Mice production, obviously, but nicely made. Nicely made. So I can't say anything. For the build, I give you 10. Basic feel of the bow. I said handle feels good, lays good in your hand on your pressure point and then you would ever put your fingers wherever you want them. Just don't squish the bow to death. Basic feel of the bow draws nice and you, once you shoot always the same arrows, you know what you have to do that you hit the target. So that's an easy going bow, just perfect for beginner in this regard. So I give you here basic feel 10. Draw experience is recurve typical, nothing nice, but there's no stacking. So 30 inches is easy to achieve and then it gets a little stiff, but that's fine. So if you draw a little longer, if you draw 30 inches, this bow will still deliver. So I give you 10 here. Shooting experience, you have this little, which of course you need to put your string silencers on. That's why they are in it. but. 
I wish it would not vibrate that much. It's a little too, maybe it's a string material, maybe, what's the name? Tachyon archery, maybe try some little more direction fast flight. I think this is Dacron or something. It's for my taste a little too soft on it and then you feel it in the handle. So I really need to put these thingies on the silencers, otherwise it's too loud. So for this, there is a little room for improvement. Not much, but a little. So I give you nine, then you're 59 and price value give you 530 bucks for a bow like this. I think for this full set you get, you know, it's not only that you get the bow string and the limbs and then you're left alone. You get everything you need from these finger protectors, which I really like for a beginner. Later, you know, you buy your glove and then you know what you want and you remove them, put the knocking point on, even the knocking point is in the box. So, a full set, I like it. And when you check on the website, they have full sets with even arrows and you don't have to think about which arrow will fit now. Then you have the matching arrows directly with it. And it, it's, it's a pretty look, it looks really for this kind of archery, if you want to do that, just fine. I really have no complaints. So, thank you, Tachyon Archery. I need to get used to this name. I heard it the first time, Tachyon Archery, for sending this bow to me. Really nice. So I only can recommend getting on the website or checking the link in for Amazon. Check it out. If you look for a bow like this, it's a really good option. Really good option. And customs, as I said, is not so much. It's fine, so you can you can live with this if you want this bow. So for me, recommended if you like the shooting style, three fingers and whatever. And of course you can later put a proper arrow rest on it and put your uh, you know your sight on it and your knocking point and you can shoot three finger under, you can do string walking and whatever you like with this bow, everything works. So it's really good. Nice bow to have. So, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.